Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x, welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. In the last episode, well, we went to the pump works, and in case you guys want to remember how it works, uh, when Bowser's drinking water, the place is filled with water, we can swim around, when it's not, everything sinks and good stuff happens, but it's Toad's Worth! I'm really happy about that, because it's freaking Toad's Worth, and Toad's Worth is always quite awesome. Uh, of course, the uh, information that the princess will swallow will now send him into a state of absolute shock and horror, because that is what Toadsworth does. And he goes, princess, and blah, 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 blah. But um, this is where we're actually going to be learning a new, um, well, like in every Mario and Luigi game, there's going to be actions that the bros can do on the field, just do like crazy stuff. Like, you know, they have the spin tornado thing, I believe the next return at some point. And they have this one, which is, um, which is something that returns from... Uh, what should I call it? This is, a, this is a return from the original Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I don't think this is in Partners in Time. Well, it, it kind of was, but not really to the extent that, um, it, not really in this sort of form, if I remember correctly. Um, so what this is going to end up being, uh, which actually kind of interesting that, um, the spin attack is not the first one that, or the twist, or whatever the hell they call it, I forget these days. Uh, the Toadsworth twist in Partners in Time is not the first one you get this time. Um, this one is the one where you basically, Luigi swings the hammer and Mario becomes small. And you access this by, uh, going to your hammers and, uh, this time Luigi will have a hammer option. And you can use it to make Mario small, and now he is small, and all is well with the world. So we'll learn a bunch of different techniques. Uh, I can't talk. Um, we'll learn a bunch of different techniques like this in order to uh, progress throughout Bowser's body. That's what works. Kind of interesting though. They're like, you know, Luigi remembers this technique from Superstar Saga. So um, there's not gonna be anyone who needs to, need to teach it to them. They already know this from past games. So I guess it's kind of maybe a subtle nod to Superstar Saga. A very subtle nod to Superstar Saga. Although, why we couldn't use this before, I don't know. But now we can. And if you guys remember, there's actually some uh, some items back them um, back back quite a ways in the pumps work in the pumps work that um, we couldn't get because there's a small passageway blocking the way. But now we can go get that. So we'll be picking those up in a little bit. No. I just cannot talk at all today. But uh, Toadsworth has recovered his stature. Uh, he shall return to uh, Toad Town, so we'll, next time we head there, we'll find him. Uh, as you can see, we're slowly going to be finding more and more people to add to Toad Town. Uh, not really to a big extent, it's not like a big mechanic of the game. This isn't like build up Toad Town, uh, it's just sort of like, you know, it's just, it's just a thing, I guess. Uh, there's an item up here, I believe, yeah, there's a nut. Uh, if I haven't explained nuts, wrong hammer, uh, nuts basically, they heal, I think, 20 HP to both bros, so um, they're useful in a pinch when both your bros are pretty suffering. Um, in terms of healing, I'm gonna mostly focus on just using mushrooms, though. Uh, when I need to heal, healing's generally not as big. I, feel, I just feel like, um, especially because they have oh, picnic wear. Oh, wait, isn't that that's what we had before, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I guess I could have saved myself not buying one, but it's better to have the extra defense now than having to wait this long. Um, picnic wear is cheap anyway, so not that big a deal. Uh, anyways, so now that we picked ourselves up some picnic wear. Some unnecessary items we're gonna head over this way. And I don't remember what I was talking about. Something about um yeah, so you will get more people in Toad Town, but it's not really that big a deal. And then um the whole healing thing, not really that important because you have like the whole like sp uh, spend ten coins to get, you know, all your bros healed to full HP anyway, so in general, I mean I guess you'd want to heal before boss fights, but um well you're gonna see later actually uh how this works, at least in this case. Speaking, by the way, of random things that actually have nothing to do with anything I was speaking of, so speaking of nothing I was speaking of, um, we also have attack pieces which we need to get, so uh, we're only two away from getting ourselves a new technique. Honestly, this next technique, well, it's it's, it's basically, it's, it's gonna be very familiar, and it's just gonna, it's, it's one of my least favorite ones, so I'm not really too excited for this one, but it's still, you know, a new move, and I will take everything I can get. And for now, it's kind of somewhat a little bit useful. Um, so, I mean, we'll make we'll make the best of it that we have. But there's actually another t attack piece down here, so head to the right first. Uh, the left one will actually be our pathway to move onward. Luckily, there are two of those things. I don't remember what they're called, actually. I know that the, the, the creatures are called Chomp Bones, but I don't remember what the, the little stone things are called. I completely forgot what the Globin said. The silly emo, emo Globin. Emo Globin's definitely one of my favorite characters in this game, I guess, or just the character types. Uh, I wish I had a bunch of little talking, saving, healing sort of people in my body. Why can't my body be as cool as this? I want little crazy, bumpy things in the background. I mean, look at the background of this place. The backgrounds for Bowser's body are just they're just really freaking trippy. Although, I don't know if him having these chomp bone things in him are safe. These things look a little bit like parasites. I don't know, Bowser, you might have some creepy infections in your body. 
you might want to get that checked out. Just, just maybe, maybe. <laughs> In this episode, Bowser gets really sick, and he gets tapeworms. Yes, that's right, we're going to fight tapeworms, and malaria, and the common cold. Those will be our bosses in this game. If only, if only, things are not that weird. I don't know, actually I don't think I would, I would want to do anything like that. I, let's just take up the cartoony, weird, normal sort of bad guys. Although the fact that we're inside Bowser's body does mean they have to be a little bit creative with the bosses, as you're going to see later, uh, when we actually fight bosses inside Mar uh, Bowser's body. But here we go, we got the last attack piece, and we get the Fire Flower. Pretty much works the same way it does back in uh, Superstar Saga, where you just repeatedly press A and B, and it's going to alternate between the two of them. Um, although, there is one little thing added on, as you're going to see in a second, the demo, or I don't know if it's showing the demo, or, but you'll see it in a second anyway. Uh, so you go back and forth between A and B. Oh, I guess you kind of briefly saw it there. You'll see it again right here. Um, once you do it enough, you actually, um, both rows ha get a chance to do it. Now, for some reason, I'm not sure why, but, like, I can't really, for some reason, like, when I was trying to do this, I just couldn't really, like, I do it really well here, but I just, like, cannot do it right outside of this battle. Like, I don't know why. I don't know if there's, like, something wrong with just doing it while I'm recording if I get, like, a slight lag that's throwing things off or something like that. But, like, this whole button mashing thing just is not working. Which, luckily for me, Fire Flowers are one of the least important items because, A, in general, they're not that useful anyway compared to most items. I mean, you've seen uh, how things were back in, whatchamacallit, I'm actually, um, quickly showing off how I actually use the Grease. So I'm going to keep this fight in just because I'm going to use the Fire Flower on these guys and show them off in battle, just for the sake of showing them off in battle, I suppose. But I'm actually going to weaken this guy with a, fire, with a Green Shell first just to keep him a bit, you know, tamer. Uh, oh, these things are going to the ceiling. Uh, I don't know if this is actually new or not. Uh, I don't know if I've shown that attack off yet. I can't recall if I've actually shown the, the ceiling attack. They, they can do that, though, so... I guess if I haven't shown that off before, I, I, my, my memory's failing me here, but... Uh, keep that in mind. Mario's really low on health. I didn't even notice that. Probably should keep that in mind. Also, another reason to shut the Fire Flowers, these guys actually do happen to be weak to them. I mean, I'm doing decently here, but there are just times where, like, I, 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 I really struggle getting excellence on the Fire Flowers. Like, I only can really get goods or greats, and that's kind of a problem. Like, I'm a practice battle wasn't having issues, so it must be something like the lag of recording that's throwing this off. So, um, I do apologize if the Fire Flower, um, if, it, if it's not really as ideal of a thing as normal. Like, I, I do feel like I'm sort of doing a little bit worse with the uh, Fire Flower than I normally should be, so I guess keep that in mind. Um, but really not important. There, um, we'll, we'll have to do challenges with the Bro items later. I think I'm, um, you saw that back in the, uh, the challenge node. And the Fire Flower actually is not one of them, so that's not really something I need to worry about so much. Uh, so really not, not that big of a deal. But now that we've, uh, we basically you want to load this thing up in, uh, the, the thing over there. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. It's like a little thing launching cannon. I don't remember what these things are called. Like, I, the name just completely escapes me. And I'm probably going to look back on a, on, a, on a previous video and be like, oh, well, that was obvious. Cause it's probably not obvious, because knowing this game, they name things just really, really weird. I mean, those things are called Chomp Bones. What the hell is that supposed to mean, Chomp Bone? I have no idea, but we're going to backtrack a little bit because there is an item uh, back there to get, and this is actually something you want to pick up because um, it is going to, I mean, you'll, it's not something you really necessarily need because you'll pick up uh, plenty of these later uh, from a certain enemy, but it's good to have one of these now just to, just to have one, and plus, you know, it's free, so free stuff is always good. But if you head over here, you're actually going to find yourself a nice, handy, dandy fighter wear, and that's always pretty good. So we'll equip that. Uh, it's going to give us a little bit of extra defense. And as you can see, it's also going to give us 5 power, which is going to be really handy to have. So, I'll certainly take the 5 extra power from Mario, because, you know, we well, power on Mario is the, that's what I'm trying to go for. You know, Mario's the more offensive one, Luigi's the more defensive one. That's how I play Superstar Saga, that's how I play Partners in Time, and that's how I'm going to play things here, because I feel like the characters are just sort of geared to be like that. That's it's just, they're, they're, that's their destiny. They're meant to be that role. It's just how things are designed. If you think about it, Mario's always been like the more like uh, aggressive of the two. He's always seemed like the more like you know aggressive, and Luigi's the more timid, sort of self-preserving one. So it makes just sense in terms of personalities, I guess. You know, Mario's the fire, Luigi's the well. I guess Lightning's also pretty offensive, but fire is like the epitome of offense, I guess. Fire is like the epitome of passion, offense, and I guess Lightning can be a bit more timid. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. All that's, all that's important is that apparently, according to this game, Luigi has a bigger stash, and that's all that matters. But we get the Stingler, and it's gonna give us a, um, that's gonna be useful for our switch back there. You know, thinking about it now, I could have actually picked up the item on the way back from here, because we're gonna be heading right past it right now. Didn't actually think of that. Huh. Oops. 
oh well. So we're going to continue onward. We're going to put the stain line here, and we're going to see where that leads us. And actually, it's going to be pretty interesting where it leads us. You'll see in a second. Uh, things get a, uh, a bit interesting. But it's going to come into that whole uh, healing thing, like I mentioned before, how you really mushrooms just seem like less important because of that. Because, well, you're going to see in a little bit how things work. Um, it's not that like they provide a healing thing before the before bosses, which I'm not sure if they do in general, but um, they don't. They don't um, like there's little healing globins. They don't show up that often. Like they introduce that whole healing globin mechanic, but really, I don't. I'm not sure how many of those really actually show up. They're not really that common. But we'll go ahead and we'll put the stingler in here. And what it's going to do is it's going to open this door, and this door is going to lead us uh, once we go through this whole process of glowy, glowy, glowy things. Because, you know, obviously things inside the body are going to glow randomly when you do stuff. But it's going to lead us to a bunch of new areas. Now, I'm not going to show off these areas until they need to be used. Uh, but the, all these areas, what most of these areas, in, in most of these areas, basically what's going to happen is you're going to go into it, and you're going to reach a dead end right away. So really no reason to show that off. But, like I said, the healing thing. We, uh, um... We get actually get a chance now to go ahead and go and heal, so I have no reason to use those mushrooms or do anything because I've already healed. So I feel like having access to a thing like this, um, it sort of does diminish the importance of uh, mushrooms and other items, like more than other games. Which you know, I guess that's fine because the whole using items thing, really, like I really don't care to use items anyway. So in the end, it's like no skin off my back that we can just go down here and heal. Honestly, I think it's a good thing. Like it's really nice to be able to do that. I mean, saw my picnic wear. As you saw, I picked up the. Uh, 200 coins for a leisure wear. I could, you could give one to Mario as well, because it's five extra defense, but it's five defense versus five power. And seeing as I'm trying to make Mario the more offensive character, I'd rather take the five power over the five defense. And like I kind of explained last time, um, in terms of the whole hierarchy, and obviously we have to go in this one, by the way. I mean, if it's glowy, usually means you should go there. So this is the one where we need to go to progress. Also, flame pipe. So, gee, I wonder what we're going to be able to unlock here for Bowser. Oh, I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, now that we have this, we, we, we Bowser can stop drinking water. There's no reason to. We can't get any water in the flame pipe. That would be, probably be bad. A thing called the flame pipe, you probably don't want to have water poured in it. Probably would not work out for the best. Um, suddenly Bowser starts spewing water instead of fire. Actually, it starts spewing steam, technically. That would make more sense. <laughs> I sort of fell down. Luigi was sort of just left up there on his own. Oops. Uh, no, Luigi! Come on. Don't, don't fall behind. Luigi! Stop falling behind. Slowpoke. Anyways, once you head over here, well, gee, here's the problem. You have a giant bug living inside you, and, well, that's how the boss is going to be. There going to be things like, you know, I guess infestations of some sort, you know, or just, you know, weird other sort of body-related things. Like, we'll find, like, you know, part, either parts of body, Bowser's body will be attacked, I guess, or be, there'll be, like, foreign things like a bug that he inhaled, um, you know, back when he inhaled everything. You know, I think when you're inhaling everything, you might get a bug problem. Also, the thing ain't start. You're not allowed to heal the guard. You're not, yeah, you're not allowed to heal the our, our our little helper person. You don't do that. That's not fair. And also, that's an awkward picture. Where were you licking giant tongue bug? Why is your tongue so big? That's just kind of creepy. But welcome to our first Mario and Luigi only boss, which is pretty awesome. What's this dude called? He's the he's the 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 thing. I don't know. I don't even see what he's called. But he's basically a giant bug who's uh, living on Bowser's flame pipe and preventing him from being able to use fire. So we're going to have to deal with that. Sorry, Mr. Bug, but you're going to have to die painfully. Also because you stole Starlo, and she's pretty cool, so they're going to have to die for that too. Um, For this one, there's really no no reason not to just wail on him with your green shells and just do as much damage as possible. Um, Green shells, and I guess you can also use fire flowers as well. What I like to do, really... um. Plan your SP out because you can because you have a three and four. It's pretty easy to plan things out ahead of time and you know be able to use all your SP for something. So like for example, for Mario I can use two fire flowers and a green shell, and for Luigi I can use three green shells, and that would also use all your SP. Because I think if you can do a fire flower better than you can, if you do a fire flower better, you can do more damage I think with a fire flower overall. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm just I don't know something's just like struggling with this whole button pressing thing. Like I'm just really bad at it right now for this game. I'm not really sure why. Uh, but, so in general, green shells will be better, but I'll just use fire flowers anyway for variety. I'm not really, I mean, it's like a difference of, like, what, nine damage? Like, that's not too much. Honestly, they sort of nerf the special attacks, especially early on in this game. They don't do that much extra damage over your normal attacks, especially early. I just said especially early twice, but that's okay. Like, you'll see when we start jumping, like, we're not going to be doing that much extra damage. So, in the end, um, I mean, you should still spam them, because they'll still do a little bit of extra damage, but they're not, like, as broken as they were in Partners in Time, where, like, we're doing, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of damage with those um, things as opposed to, you know, just like 20 or 30 with our jump. You know, 
the special attacks and partners in time were obviously out uh, overbalanced, and obviously they did a lot more. So, and um, this guy, basically for most of his attacks, keep a lookout on his eyes because they'll they'll if he looks over at Mario, he's gonna attack him. If he looks over at Luigi, he'll attack him. Um, it happens if he goes up there. It happens if, if he um, throws Starlo at you. Which, by the way, why are you, you can't use Starlo to attack us? That's cheating. No, you can't use you can't attack us for our buddies. That's just cruel and unusual. Yeah, I'm really not getting anything good with the fire flowers here. But uh, this will be the last special attack. Other than this, we'll have to resort on uh, our normal attacks. But this, I mean, this will. I like to open up, a, waste all your special attacks early on, and not, well, in most cases, some other cases. It's best to hold back, but this is one where it doesn't really matter if you just use it right, use all your stuff right away. Just do this, and then you know, just do whatever damage you have left. I love how Starlo gets pissed at us. Uh, why are you pissed at us? We're not, we didn't, we're not the ones who ate you. We're trying to save you. Don't be angry. So yeah, like for Green Shell, we did about 21 damage. With this, we're doing about 13, 10. So it's only about double the damage, as opposed to Partners in Time, where special attacks really did a lot more of the boss, and they really were necessary for the boss. Also, unlike Partners in Time. Um, most, as you can see, we're just able to wail on the boss. There's no crazy process in order to hurt the boss. There's no like, a, there's not like a bunch of crazy rules. You know, I mean, there will be boss fights like that that have like a bunch of gimmicks at, attached to them. But in general, the boss fights in this one are a lot less gimmicky and a lot less tedious because of that, and also a lot shorter because of that. In case you haven't noticed, you know, these boss fights haven't taken that long, and that's a good thing. You know, in general, this game is just a lot more fast-paced than Partners in Time was, and that is why. This one does end up being the favorite of my series. I feel like it has the best parts of both Superstar Saga and Partners in Time, and it fixes a lot of the flaws that Partners in Time has. Plus, you add on Bowser to that, and you just have a really great game. So, I guess there's my explanation as to why this is my favorite game, I suppose, of the series so far. Um, oh, we actually finished him off with Lucky Attack. So there we go. First boss is done. He's dead. He's never coming back. We're going to get ourselves a couple, level, a couple levels up. Yes, a couple levels up. I, I'm good of English. I'm so good of English. Anyways, so um, we're gonna give ourselves a bit of ex extra SP because as you can see, well, um, I mean the the items are pretty cheap so far, three and four. So I'm gonna give myself just a tiny bit of extra SP for now, um, just so I can be able to use that and do uh, you know a couple extra hits. Just a just a couple like you know this just this should be enough for like an extra one or two. Well, not an extra one or two, just an extra like you know an extra special attack. And you know, from now on, I'll just let it, I'll just let it naturally grow from here on. But now we have enough where we can at least get you know, especially when we get um, more expensive ones, we'll still be able to spam them a bit more often and be able to you know do more and more damage, or just be able to use um, a few of the more expensive ones a bit more often. So just a little bit of extra SP just you know helps out a little bit. But from now on, I, I'm, I'm gonna stick with other things like power. Well, I'll get some stash points and I'll stick with power, HP, and defense, like I said. Anyways. Now that we've beaten the boss, Bowser's flames back, and that's where I'm going to leave you guys for this episode, guys. Um, Bowser makes St uh, Starlo an, uh, an official minion. Uh, he does that quite often. It's one of, kind of a running gag in this game. And Starlo, and according to Bowser, Starlo's name is now Chippy. Best name ever? Question mark Chippy? Yeah. Um, but just a little bit of dialogue in the next episode, guys. Bowser has his flame back. So guess what? We get to play as Bowser again, and crazy shenanigans are going to occur. We have our fire back, and that's awesome. So next time, we're going to learn how to use it. Oh, yeah. See you guys later. Bye-bye.